We are on our way to get on ADD Fest in South Dakota. And I forgot that I don't have a gate key right now. I'm asleep at the gate. So the coupler has seen better days. We have made it. And there's a Chris. <laughs> Hello, beautiful people. My name is Amanda Zitto. If you are new here, I make motorcycle travel vlogs, how to's, and general encouragement for you to get out and do the thing. As you can probably tell, we're not on the motorcycle right now. We're in my truck, but there is a motorcycle being pulled by this truck. Multiple motorcycles, actually. We are on our way to get on ADD Fest, uh, hosted by Revzilla in South Dakota. And to make it possible for my brother to come and to make it a little bit more comfy for me while we're there at the event. And also make traveling in 100 degree heat just a little bit less miserable. I decided to bring the truck, the truck camper, and trailer the bikes. I think that I have done my fair share of riding in the heat and the cold and the rain this year that I deserve a little bit of luxury. Getting used to pulling a trailer behind a truck camper has been a process, but we are here, we are doing the thing. I did install a rear view camera so that I can keep an eye on the bikes because I don't know if you can tell, but I, I don't really have a rear view <laughs> with the truck camper in the bed of the truck. So excited to load my brother's bike up onto the trailer, get our butts moving towards South Dakota. It is so convenient to be able to just pop into the back and get snacks. Like I had the truck plugged in all night so that my fridge would be cold so I could then stuff it full of ice packs and that kind of stuff to keep it kind of cool the rest of the day. And I packed it full of LaCroix and snacks and that has been awesome. I have gone into one gas station because I am fully loaded. Let's hit the road again, shall we? Got gas at the Flying J outside of Spokane. Did math. Only getting like nine miles to the gallon, but who's counting? We're gonna hit the road, eat food, go over a couple passes. Hopefully before it gets dark. made it to Montana. We're still quite a ways from Corvallis, but it just always feels really good when I came, come over the Montana border. I just feel like this huge weight is lifted off of my chest and I can breathe with the full capacity of my lungs again for the first time in a while. That's very dramatic, but that's the way that I feel every time I cross the border back into Montana. And Bubba brought us here. What a good boy. With the bikes in the back. So far, so good. camper is a mess, but my bed is made, and I have made it home, kind of. <laughs> I got to the gate at like midnight 30, and uh, my brother's asleep, and uh, I forgot that I don't have a gate key right now, so I can't get on the property at the moment. So uh, <laughs> I'm asleep at the gate. It's just really funny. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, beautiful people. Dad came down and graciously unlocked the gate for me. Go wake up my brother and give him crap for not answering his phone last night. <laughs> <sighs> Look at this mess. <laughs> it only took us like 
four hours, but we're off and running. <laughs> Who's counting? Who cares if we get to Medicine Rocks at midnight? <laughs> had some amazing dim sum and wow I never thought that I'd be able to find bao or like buns even shumai in Montana but it was so good it was very good I am very full we have leftovers to snack on the road we have ways to go yet we have like what did I say six six more hours to Medicine Rocks State Parks and I am making Gary take his turn driving the truck It's been quite a day. It is 2 a.m. Finally made it to Medicine Rock State Park. We had a little bit of an incident with the trailer that we will maybe address in the morning if, if it becomes a problem. Future Amanda here to let you know what past Amanda is too embarrassed to tell you right now. That when we pulled into our first campsite, we realized too late that there was no turnaround and did like a 50 point turn, ended up twisting and jackknifing the trailer so the coupler has seen better days. I am going to go shoot a star trail time lapse because we made it all the way here. The bugs are relentless here you guys. We left the door open for like a half a second. I don't think you can actually see it, but there's a swarm of bugs all over every light in the truck camper. Uh, get on ADV Fest is tomorrow, but uh, first we have to reattach the trailer, which is a whole other thing. Anyway, <laughs> enjoy the Star Trail, or at least what I hopefully get of it, and I will see you in the morning. so awesome to be back in Medicine Rock State Park. I never thought that I'd be able to come back here. And I am so, so glad that we made time on this trip to come here. Trailer problems at all. <laughs> uh, it's just so peaceful. And when we pulled in last night, we were the only ones here. And we have only seen like one other person since then um, pull in who obviously is also accustomed to coming here and expecting no people. <laughs> Well, we're gonna figure out trailer stuff before we head out and go to get on ADV Fest. Today is the day, today is check-in day. We're just a little bit behind. Such is life with Amanda, always behind. You are now witnessing part of our fix in the morning, which involved trying to bend the metal out so that we could put a one inch and a quarter ball into a two inch coupler. It fit, it held, never popped out. We did have to drill a hole through one of my jack handles to replace the cotter pin that we sheared off on the coupler. But other than that, held perfectly fine. Pulled a little bit weird, but hey, if it works, it ain't stupid. That's what we call redneck ingenuity. Well, as safe as we can be with the state that the trailer is in, but that's fine. We're not gonna talk about that. Sorry, that is a problem <laughs> for Sunday.
Sunday because we're here now. We're gonna unload bikes. We're gonna set up camp, try to get the trailer as level as we're gonna get it in this field. <laughs> Got back into the camper after a very, very full first day at the Get On ADB Fest. So many people came and said hi to me. It was so cool. It was so awesome. So if you were one of the people who got to see me at Get On ADB Fest and came and said hi, thank you. You totally made my day. It was very awesome. I also got to meet a bunch of the Revzilla people who are here running the event, and a bunch of them know who I am, and it's kind of wild. <laughs> I might actually be doing uh, women ADV training in the morning. That'll be exciting. Haven't actually taken an ADV training class at all, so first one ever for me. <sighs> I'm not nervous at all, it's fine. It'll be fine, it'll be fine. <sighs> but for now, we're gonna go to bed because tomorrow's gonna be a very early morning. You guys know me, I am not a morning person, but I have to get up and be ready at check-in at 8.30, and that is like very early for me. <laughs> Wish me luck. Thankfully there's coffee and chai on site, so I get my chai, Gary gets his coffee, he's playing with toothpaste stuff right now. Anyway, we're gonna brush our teeth, go to bed, be very ready for a very full day tomorrow. I already am anticipating I'm going to be exhausted. <laughs> Good night you guys. <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed this little glimpse into our journey to get on ADV Fest. Make sure that you hit that like and subscribe button if you did. If you would like to support the channel and get early access to videos like these for as little as $1 a month, you can support me over on Patreon and get early access to videos like these ad-free before the rest of the world. If that's not up your alley, that is totally okay. I appreciate you guys just for being here every single week. And question for the end screen crew. Let me know if you have any particularly interesting stories about pulling a trailer. <laughs> In the meantime, guys, I'll see you later.